We're here at VMworld 2017, visiting the Thin Print booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at VMworld? Sure. Um, I think to everyone in the end user computing space around virtual desktops, remote desktops, uh, ThinPrint's probably a relatively familiar name for its uh, ThinPrint engine and uh, some of the other related products around enterprise print management. And uh, here at the show, we're really happy to introduce the Easy Dash solution. It's a completely cloud based, serverless print management solution that allows us to really manage printing and bring some of the benefits of managed printing to everyone on their PCs and Macs on their desks to make sure that no matter what they need to do, what they need to print in their organization, they always have the right printer available and printing is nicely and easily available as a cloud managed direct IP print solution. And uh, what are some of the differentiating factors to your software? Um, one of the things that we're really proud of that it's really easy and that it's really easy to get started. Um, so we're building a, a preloaded driver store, meaning that anybody who signs up for Easy Dash can just uh, get started. The driver's already there. Um, all that needs to be done is set up the users, uh, assign printers to them, uh, set up the configuration for the printers. And then via an agent that's installed on uh, the user's machines, the configuration and the drivers get pushed out to those machines that get installed. And uh, then it's a straight up direct IP print process from the user uh, to the nearest printer or to the printer that the user selected. Uh, that means even though it's a cloud-based management service, we never actually see any of the print data. And also, um, printing still works even if the user's office, for example, is offline for a little while. Um, printing is strictly a local area network connection. Uh, nothing that actually goes out into the cloud. And where do you see virtualization in the cloud moving to? I think virtualization is always a very interesting space. Um, I think we've seen some interesting announcement this week around uh, some of the other cloud service providers. Uh, so I think it'll continue to be very innovative, very disruptive, and allow companies to uh, do things that they couldn't do before and to do them at a much more cost-efficient scale. Um, so we're certainly excited about that. We're excited to be here at the show, and uh, we're looking forward to next year and everything that's going to come up. And could we uh, take a look at the product? Absolutely. I'd be happy to show that. So what are you going to show us? I am going to show you a preview of the Easy Dash interface that kind of walks through the entire process of how to set up a printer for a user and gives a little bit of a hint of what's to come later in the year in Q4 when we release this. Great. So this is the uh, admin view. The admin picks the HP desk thread here. can see some of the details, um, some of the selected driver profile, um, so that we can make sure the users have the supporting drivers. We can see here um, what operating systems are supported, uh, set up some profiles so the users can only use certain functions. Then, the printer gets assigned to user groups so that we don't have to actually manage individual users. And of course, we can add individual users just as well. Um, here, that's a preview of the driver store, um, same driver that we just picked, uh, some of the uh, settings that are available. Uh, those match what we had just set up. And then if a driver might not be available, um, that's needed for this particular customer. They can just add that uh, to the system. And with just a few clicks, um, we can also add a driver um, that's not at all available in the Easy Dash Cloud service yet, upload it. And then with just a few clicks, we have really easy server free printing for any environment. That's pretty awesome. Well, thanks for taking the time to show us that and uh, for speaking with VMblog. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure to show what we're doing.